yeah, sport has become my life, I think. My mother said to me sometimes, when are you going to give up lifting? <laughs> when they cut my arms off. <laughs> I was born with what they called a paddle foot. Basically my thigh bone was missing and I had a little foot attached at my hip. And uh, I crawled around and I used that as a lever to climb onto chairs and onto tables and things. I attempted to run but it was sort of a fast walk and uh, that annoyed me a bit and I couldn't keep up with the other kids. Well, I was always interested in improving myself physically, not being able to run and uh, that sort of limited me a bit. When I discovered that a, a neighbour had a set of weights in his basement, I asked him if I could use those. I was 13 at the time and uh, he showed me a couple of exercises and that was it, I was off. I was at the Artificial Limb Centre in Auckland and I met a uh, double amputee and I heard him and another guy talking about um, disabled games. So I asked him about it and he told me that there was one coming up. That was 1978 I think and uh, improved over the next few years and ended up being selected for the New Zealand team for the 1980 Paralympics. That was uh, a real thrill that was. To do a personal best in New Zealand record that was almost as good as winning a medal. When I was in um, Holland in 1980, I was watching um, my class um, above knee amputees doing their running races. I saw that they had a strong elastic strap strapped over their knee to make the leg swing through quicker. I decided I was going to try that and see if it helped. Um, and when I got home, I did that and I started running. We all watched the New York City Marathon early on the Sunday morning. That inspired me to keep running and, uh, and that year I saw an above knee amputee finishing the marathon. His name was Dick Traum and uh, I managed to get in touch with him and he um, invited me to come over and run the New York City Marathon. So, I was like, wow. <laughs> Finally finished in five hours and eight minutes, which was uh, an hour 44 quicker than uh, the previous best time that Dick Traum held had my results in the local paper and everyone thought I was a hero. You know, a lot of people have said I've inspired them. So far I haven't inspired anyone to squat or deadlift on one leg. Just can't consider not training and not competing until I absolutely can't. If it's impossible we find another way to do it. <laughs>